This is what I'm packing. Remember, I also take camera gear with. It's pretty big, actually. It surprised me how big this bag was. Like he said, make sure you take the underwear with the holes. Definitely have holes in them. Obviously, I'm not going to be wearing these. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, we leave. Last moments, quality time before I go for three weeks. But let me show you how I got things organized over here. We're ready to pack. This is the bag that I'm going to be taking. Saddleman, Saddleman were kind enough to send me their biggest bag possible. I'm going to show you very soon. I'm going to show you how, how I mounted to the bike and everything. But it seems like this should be plenty of space with all the possible compartments, top compartments, access to, I guess this is going to be a dry area for like boots and stuff like that and inside a huge compartment i'm going to take my computer with me and this is going to be my backrest because i'm putting it on a sissy bar obviously you can put a backrest over here which i also have right there but before i'm all over the place let me just show you what i packed this is my packing remember i'm doing packing for 21 days maybe 30 days Obviously, I'm not going to take uh, clothes for the whole time. We're going to be washing every once in a while, cleaning, and uh, reusing underwear like four or five times. Like uh, five days in a war, same underwear. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is what I'm packing. Remember, I also take camera gear with me. This is not a suggestion. This is just what I'm taking. I'm going to start with personal items that uh, you know I need for every day, and then we'll talk about motorcycle things. Let me start with jackets. It's, we're going to be uh, riding in very warm temperatures. So I'm taking with me my mesh, my mesh jacket. This is Beyond Riders mesh jacket. And I also have another warmer jacket, like it's good for colder temperatures. This is canvas. It's also by Beyond Riders. All these jackets, all these riding uh, shirts, jackets are Kevlar inside. So that's what I'm taking. I'm also taking riding, riding pants. So I have these cargo pants, which are Beyond Riders, and they have uh, obviously Kevlar inside. And I'm taking the same thing, but jeans. These are the jeans right here. The jeans with uh, Kevlar inside. T-shirts, about five, six, seven T-shirts, and some long sleeve T-shirts because uh, it might get cold uh, at one point. A towel, we'll be staying at hotels, but just always good to have a towel. Five, six uh, set of socks. Long pants that are not protective. Uh, that's for like evening and stuff like that. If we'll be going out or in events at uh, homecoming and at Sturges and places where we need to look uh, decent and neat. So I took thin, rather thin material because it's going to be really warm. So these kind of like dockers, chinos, whatever you want to call them. Five, six underwears, my old underwears. And at one point, I took like my oldest ones at one point at the end of the trip. If I don't want to be bothering around with uh, just going to dispose and throw them away at one point. Shorts and a bathing suit. Who knows? You never know. These are, I use these. It's a kind of funny, silly, funky, stupid, whatever you want to call it. A padded briefs, padded underwear that you can wear. Uh, wear if uh, I did that, when I did the saddle sore, I actually used them. And they've got little padding supposed to help a little bit with some kind of gel inside to help with when you're crunching a lot of miles. Taking some uh, sling bags, spare that I have. Going to be wearing Indie Ridge perforated like vented boots. My uh, sneakers, a little, uh, you know, evening stuff when uh, running around the hotel or whatever when you want to let your uh, uh, feet relax a little bit. A belt, two belts. Flask, cold water flask. You know, you're going to get dehydrated big time on this trip because you're going to be riding through hot weather, a lot of wind. You lose a lot of uh, liquids, body fluid and stuff like that. So my phone is ringing. Give me a second. So anyway, water will be filling up in the morning with ice uh, and taking it during the day so we don't have to stop every second for to buy, you know, bottles of water. My phone is ringing. Give me a sec. Well, buddy, what's up? Okay, once I have a car, no problem. Okay, perfect. I'm doing, I'm doing a vi I'm doing my video now. I'm talking about all the the parts, uh, like all the items. I'm showing the items that I'm. Uh, it's John over here. All the items. He's already packed. He did his video yesterday. Uh, so I'll I'll get back to you soon.
I'm showing them the underwears with the holes. Don't worry. I told them. <laughs> My oldest underwear. <laughs> okay, bye, buddy. We're both, both of us are pretty excited, pretty stoked. It's like an epic uh, trip that we're going to be taking. So like I, like he said, make sure you take the underwear with the holes. Definitely have holes in them. Hydrating. Cold water. I'm also uh, getting a hot water thermos. Should be arriving with Amazon. Just, you know, coffee in the morning at the hotel. Fill it up. And then I have a uh, hot coffee with me the whole day. Then items that are, I would say it's somewhere between motorcycle and personal. Spare tie downs, bungee net, bungee cords, bungee, just in case. A lot of toiletries. What are all these little toiletry bags that I have? Well, funny story. We have on our airplanes on business class. They like to be fancy and give you, if you buy business class, they give you this little toilet, uh, toiletry bag with a toothbrush and socks and stuff like that. So whenever the passengers are done and they don't, most of them don't take the toiletry bag, they use it and just leave it on the seats. I, I actually like to pick them up. They're very, very useful. These, this is actually to me, a company, a great company. So I just pick them up and just reuse them, recycling. So I have my shaving stuff. I do shave every once in a while, as you know, all my chargers, my uh, video stuff. A battery pack for uh, on the road if in case, you know, whatever. <coughs> there you go, battery pack. Oh, I need to charge this 80%. Good thing I checked. I'll charge that. I have my toothbrush, stuff like that, aftershave, uh, meds, more camera stuff. I'll put the camera stuff over here. First aid kit over here. All my back thing, uh, deodorant, painkillers, tampons. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we you know first aid kits, band-aids, stuff like that. Here I've got sunglasses and old man, you know, old man glasses. I'm at that age where every every once in a while I need I need like these reading glasses, you know? So I got a set over there because I'm I'm gonna be, you know, we need we need it. It's the age. What can I tell you? Uh then all the camera, all the camera gear. It's the mounts, the extra batteries, the selfie sticks another gimbal camera microphones sd cards sell more selfie sticks obviously holy shift hats motorcycle depot hat uh with extra some more extra stuff i got tons of stickers not tons but enough to last the whole trip maybe so if you see me first don't hesitate to ask come the first come first serve so I'll give you free stickers and more stickers. And this is obviously a back, a back support, back strap. I want to use it. Uh, you know, my back is somewhat weak, uh, not strong enough as much as I'd like it to be. And, oh, I just saw this. This is my like compressor, little pump, electrical pump. Got to make sure it's charged as well. And all this is going to fit. Oh yeah, extra extra hats. Motorcycle Depot, holy shift, holy shift. I'm gonna be taking my computer with me. Mounting points, EDC knife, obviously the phone. What else? All these extra stuff, camera. Dude, a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot of stuff. I'm still waiting, like I said, for another set of thin khakis, like, cause I got these yesterday and they're, I didn't like the color, so whatever, they're coming in very soon. Now, let me show you, it's all, hopefully, like I know it is, it's gonna fit all in this bag and all the things that I need readily access, accessible, are gonna be on in the two side bags. So it's gonna be the rain gear, the water and things like that, or any camera gear that I need immediately, that's gonna be on the bike. Anything I don't need immediately, it's gonna be inside the bag. All gonna go in this bag, and then I'm gonna mount it on the bike. I'll take you out to the bike now and show you how it's all gonna fit on the bike. It's kinda of cool how it's all rolled up. I rolled it all up and it all fits inside very nicely. Here's the computer's gonna go. And these are uh, probably going to fit over here. I remember I have another huge place over here where I'm going to keep my shoes and some all the extra toiletries over here. So let me load the bike now. 
some of my friends call it, to, to roll into the hotel like a gentleman. I think I'm a gentleman when it comes to rolling in with this bag. It's pretty big, actually. It surprised me how big this bag was. So what the bag uh, came up with, instead of uh, uh, anchoring these loops with straps that go like from the body, the bag actually came with this, with a base plate, as you can see. This cool base plate that goes under, under your seat. And that's where you pretty much strap, strap the bag to. Obviously, I'm gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna put the, the sissy bar, uh, the back on the sissy bar. Let me show you. Obviously, you can uh, mount it in many different ways, and it's got a whole mechanism over here in the back where you can change how wide this is with little uh, kind of rods over here that they have. Anyway, I set it up already. Let me put it on. So, as you can see, I put it through the sissy bar. Now, with my uh, anchoring system, one over here, bam, tie it down, run over here, in this loop, tighten that down, and do the same thing on the other side. And I just uh, chose to have two more, two more straps over here to hold on, and then that's going to hold it to the sissy bar on the back and right here on the other side and then tie it down and that is going absolutely nowhere now this will actually serve me as a backrest this is going to be my backrest backrest huh let me show you from this position I think I got a good, good, uh, good setup over here. Now the bags, saddle bag is going to be filled with uh, all my pumps, all the motorcycle stuff, all the camera gear, rain gear, and all the stuff. Very cool feature over here. If uh, you know rain catches me by surprise, so the top, the top, uh, that's where my rain cover is. Take it out, whoosh, slap it on. And we're done. So I think it's a pretty cool setup. Now let me show you what I put in the bags. Saddlebags, I'll, I'll pack them. And then uh, I'll show you. Oh, by the way, remember the last uh, video? This uh, bag came flying off. Well, we're able to buff it up a little bit. And one of the guys on John's video, nice guy from Connecticut, reached out to me and said he has his own body shop. He's not too far from here, about an hour away, and he invited us over to come and when we're back from the trip to he'll help us out uh, fixing that back to make it nice so thanks to Mike Mike from Connecticut thank you I'm gonna hit you up on that yeah I'm coming definitely so let me just I actually figured, I got a lot of people in the comments telling me that one may maybe one reason why this this thing went up is because there's like a little flag over here a red flag I don't know if you can see it that it tends to travel up and to put a zip tie around it. So that's what I did. I put a zip tie around that red flag over here so it doesn't travel up. But when I get a chance, I'll, take, I'll tell you exactly why I think this didn't lock in fully uh, into place. And it definitely has to do with uh, the non-OEM, the non-stock mounting bracket. This one over here, all the, all the aftermarket companies make their own little bracket over here that holds the exhaust in place and also gives you uh, this mounting point. And sometimes the tolerances here are not precise and not exactly, and many times it's very actually very difficult, you know, to put this all the way in, because when, you, when you're locking it, you're pulling it, you're pushing it forward, and once it's in place, then it's easy to click in and it locks. You can actually hear a click. And this exhaust, when I installed it, it was always a problem to get this to, click into place so that's the reason and I actually fixed it by drilling the plastic holes here a little bit further so I can get this bag 
pushed further further in because this was obstructing the movement of this bag forward for it to lock properly but now i fixed it too late but that's one uh, solution how to do it so let me just pack the rest of the stuff like the the motorcycle gear itself and show you so raining a little bit now noon it's afternoon i packed the saddlebags on the right side i'm gonna have all my uh rain gear which tomorrow hopefully will not be needing it here i'm gonna have my flask cold and coffee and a few camera uh pieces of camera gear equipment so i can have easy uh, fast access to them on the left i'm going to have tire repair kit all my tools the bungee cords a pump uh this is like additional rags and cloth and things to clean the bike a little bit and over here i have extra gloves and uh, things like that so it's pretty pa re pretty much ready to go once the rain stops i'm gonna roll the bike out Go refuel so I have fresh fuel for the, for the morning because I meet John at 6 o'clock and we start rolling. We're not stopping for gas. All is set. I'm going to take the bike out very soon. Load everything. Show you what it looks like when it's all completely loaded. I'm literally waiting, waiting for an Amazon truck to come with bring, to bring me a last piece of item that I'm waiting for. Got every possible <laughs> mounting point for the cameras like over here and over here and over here so i can take pictures of videos of john and he can take videos of me and over here and handheld and over here that's where i'm gonna connect my camera i'm ready to go guys make sure you know it's gonna be really hectic really busy we probably won't have time to edit not probably we won't have time to edit all the editing and posting is going to be when we get back in three weeks but for the meantime, so you can follow what we're doing, I'm gonna be posting on Instagram and also on YouTube. We're gonna do shorts, either shorts or live, you know, live updates. So we're gonna turn the cam the phone on, go live two, three, four, five minutes, so you guys can see what's going on, the progress. You will not be notified unless you are actually subscribed and you have the notification turned on on YouTube. So if you want to be notified when you're at work, when you're at home, whatever, where we're on and we're uh, going live, it's going to be like four or five minutes. So you want to make sure that you catch us when it's live. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you uh, get notified. Bing, your, your phone will pop and say, hey, Cycle Fanatics, uh, Holy Shift are going live. You'll be able to follow, see, interact with us. That's the only way we'll be, you know, uh, be able to communicate. So make sure to follow and to hit that notification but yeah part of the pack stuff that i'm have uh, that i have i have this thrash and supply large or long and uh and tall uh, little bag over here where i'm gonna put the camera inside when i'm not using an extra camera because i'm taking an extra camera i have an easy pass my wallet stuff like that essential tools and pretty much uh this is what it uh, anything I want handy probably glasses I'm gonna put a set of glasses over here earplugs yep. and what else do I have here oh my yeah driver's license you know documentation paperwork for the bike that's about it we're all really all ready to go I'm really excited actually that's it guys the bike is loaded got the last item from Amazon everything is packed uh, bags like i said in the side gear for maintenance of the motorcycle and a few gloves and extra stuff like that on the right side is my rain gear camera more camera stuff all my hotel things the gas tank is is full just so i can show john hey see john it's full <coughs> starting the trip tomorrow we're at we're at 5,720, that's when we start. Let's zero this down for our trip. There you go. All ready to go.
tomorrow we're going to steel city harley davidson at washington pennsylvania it's south of pittsburgh like 40 50 miles it's about a six hour net ride i'll show you the miles of that's tomorrow's trip it's going to be almost 400 miles uh it's about 552 hours six hours and this is the route we're going to be taking six hours if we ride straight 400 miles route 80 and then 287 and then eventually we hit 78 for quite a few miles getting up early five o'clock six o'clock we hit the road stay tuned love you good luck obviously i'm not going to be wearing these <laughs> see you tomorrow bye